just to grab a guitar real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. And it'd probably be better if I uh, Hell yeah. just grab a strap real quick. That would be better. <laughs> I'll just grab this guitar. So... This will be better. This one's already ready to go. So, yeah, the thing that you're talking about was something that I used to do that was kind of more like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, what ended up happening was is eventually I ended up hitting kind of a speed cap with that. And I kind of went back to a more normal way. Oh, okay. You know, and gotcha. that just that worked better. And, you know, for everything, it just... So it's been like this for a long time now. Um, okay. I probably made this full switch over in about 2008 because this was starting to just get, you know, I don't know. So you, it just wasn't, I wasn't progressing any further from that. So I started to get a little bit more relaxed when I'm playing. And it was probably just me having more strength in my hands as well. Were um, you, so like, it, were I'm a little more grand, relaxed now. That old school technique. Was that more for like? Cause you're, I see you're grounding your like your your palm on the guitar on that old school technique. Was that more just for like a stamina? Because you have to like go for you know Niles so fucking constant with the with the speed picking and stuff. Was that more was adopted through stamina, or was that just something you just were doing? I uh, I don't ever care about stamina because stamina will will happen. All you got to do is just keep at it. Yeah, and then yeah. I, I think I was just able to have more control, and um, you know, uh, practicing. Say, for instance, if you're going down this way, doing something, if you're yeah. descending, try starting with an upstroke. Yeah, and what that does is put all your pick strokes on the outside of the string, stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, and it just all that stuff kind of um, helped me grow and become better. And Definitely. I've always kind of initially when I was, you know, yeah. trying to play like that, it was because I was getting a really tight sound with it. At okay. least I thought so. But, um, you know, this is just way more relaxed and I have a lot more power this way. Definitely. Um, Definitely. And it, it'll, it, it shows on the recordings. It's really going to show this time on some of the riffing and stuff. Uh, there's, there's a lot of that true 16th notes not eighth note triplets that everybody tries yeah. to tell you is 16th notes no this yeah, exactly. is real shit <laughs> oh, yeah. um tightly palm muted as well uh um, yeah yeah and that's that's uh you know any of the stuff works and any of it's great but for certain things i just love that super tight chunky thrashy shit dude was that tough when... was... thank you for showing that to us dude i was hoping you were going to grab a guitar that's why I brought it up earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, but no I'm problem. Such a fan. I'm just, dude, like, I'm seriously like just so down right now. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. hanging on every word, man. I'm hanging on every word. How hard was it to, <laughs> how hard was it to switch that style up? Because you had to pretty much relearn your picking, then, right? Or is it something you just always did? Um. Well, and that was the funny thing. The other, uh, the kind of more strong arm or stiff arm technique mm. only arose when I needed those. Um, those those fast 16th notes sure right, the rest true. of the time yeah. the rest of the time it was in that same regular kind of stance oh, where okay. it was just like yeah yeah you know but no and then we start trying to pick faster and that arm would yeah. raise up and i start just like kind of going doing right. my hand like that it's like yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm making Schwarzenegger noises like yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to pick the guitar, yeah. 